Trump melts down on Truth Social after judge says his denial rings hollow and untrue. Manhattan Supreme Court Justice Arthur Ingeron on Thursday released a written order detailing why he determined Donald Trump's Wednesday sworn testimony denying that he attacked a court clerk, rings hollow and untrue. After he fined the former president $10,000 for his second violation of a partial gag order meant to protect courtroom staff, the former president had claimed on the witness stand that he had been referring to his former lawyer and fixer Michael Cohen as the partisan sitting alongside Ingeron when he spoke to reporters outside the courtroom on Wednesday. But the judge was unconvinced, deeming that excuse not credible. Witnesses do not sit alongside the judge. They sit in the witness box, separated from the judge by a low wooden barrier. Ingeron wrote in the order, obtained by the messenger. Further, Donald Trump's past public statements demonstrate him referring to Michael Cohen directly by his name, or by a derogatory name, but in all circumstances, he is unambiguous in making it known he is referring to Michael Cohen. He added, using imprecise language as an excuse to create plausible ambiguity about whether defendant violated this court's unequivocal gag order is not a defense. The subject of Donald Trump's public statement to the press was unmistakably clear. Chris Kyes, an attorney for the former president, began Thursday's proceeding by challenging Ingeron's order, insisting that Trump was deeming Cohen the partisan and not the clerk, the messenger's Adam Klasfeld reported. Time equals 400 Ms. Greater than Kyes further argued that, even if Trump were referring to the clerk Wednesday, he is entitled to comment on her as barring him from doing so, violates the First Amendment. He also mentioned that Trump observed the clerk taking notes on the defense's arguments. Everyone can observe the law secretary on the bench, Kyes said, adding, there's no attempt to shield that public fact. The attorney general's counsel also came to the order's defense, noting that the First Amendment has limits and that the Washington, D.C. judge presiding over Trump's federal election subversion case also instated a gag order, which was paused after Trump appealed it. Time equals 400 Ms. Greater than, it's not naming anyone. It's not a post on the website. It's not a disparaging comment, Kai said, arguing that Trump does have a legitimate reason to comment on the clerk because of her role in the trial. Anybody can run for president. I have a right to protect my staff, Ingeron responded. I don't think that's impinging on anybody's First Amendment rights to protect my staff. The judge defended his seeking the clerk's active input in the proceedings as certainly within my purview and discretion, before asserting that he does not consider this trial political at all. Later in the proceeding, Ingeron affirmed his sanction order after reviewing Trump's remarks to the press, responding to Kaiser's argument that Trump spoke about Cohen right after referring to the partisan by saying, there was a brief but clear transition before that comment. The former president had his own choice words for Ingeron, dubbing him a radical left judge, and the case a complete and total miscarriage of justice, in posts to Truth Social Thursday morning ahead of the hearing. The radical left judge who should not be handling the fake and fully discredited case brought against me by the New York State AG. It should be handled by the commercial division, but should never have been brought fined me $10,000 yesterday under his so-called gag order. Trump began in the first post. He is a judge that found me guilty before the trial even started, and long before he had the real facts, like Michael Cohen collapsing and choking yesterday under cross-examination, and completely admitting that I did nothing wrong. He committed massive perjury, at a level seldom seen. On the stand before. It was like watching the end of the best Petty Mason episode, where the defendant breaks down and cries, Yes, I did it, I did it, I did it. This case should be ended, now, but this judge and his, boss, Letitia Peekaboo James, will never let that happen, he continued. He even refuses to accept our big win in the, appeals court. It is a disgrace to the legal system in the state of New York. This is a rigged case. Want a daily wrap-up of all the news and commentary Salon has to offer? Subscribe to our morning newsletter.
crash course. The former president continued to attack the judge and, later, the attorney general in his second post, accusing Ingeron of going crazy in his hatred of Trump. The judge in the New York State AG case refuses to accept the overturning of his decisions by the appeals court. This is a first in the history of the state. He has gone crazy in his hatred of Trump. Also, their star witness just admitted his statements were all a big lie. He broke down in court. The radical left judge said he doesn't care, Trump wrote. He is trying to protect racist AG Letitia James, who has no case, lost the appeal, but has a tyrannical and unhinged Trump-hating judge. She campaigned for AG on, I will get Trump, long before she knew anything. About me, he concluded. This is judicial misconduct coupled with prosecutorial misconduct, and somebody from the state of New York must step in and stop this complete and total miscarriage of justice.